Hello everyone, and on this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a simple website, well, just words from using um, PHP. And the point of this is that if you have a lot of pages and you don't want to write the same thing, all you have to do is just put a simple, like, five letter, and then it has everything you need. And so let's get started. First, you would like to sign up for 110MB.com. They support everything. Well, not everything, but they support um, PHP, and that's what you need. But my SQL, you have to buy that for ten dollars. But yeah, I don't wanna. So first off, let's get started. And you would like to sign up for 110, and go to the um, file manager, and then you would like to make a file called config.php. And after this, you would like to put this in. Let me delete it and show you. Okay, let's put um. Sorry for the background noise. My family's kind of talking. Okay, so you, so you want to put the PHP first because that stands like that makes a PHP file. So after that, you would like to put the dollar sign name equal hello. My name is Kevin. Since it is, but I really don't want no stalkers. Sorry. And now let's put the dollar sign again. Yours, your equal. And then for the um, for the quotation marks, that's is for like that's for like um what is it gonna say? And let's put what's yours, and then quotation marks again, and let's close it. And then you like to close the PHP file by pushing question mark and the carrot side, whatever it's called. And after that, you like to put save. And here's how it looks like after we are all done, but of the video I mean and then after that you would like to go to back make it index.php or HTML but yeah I would recommend PHP so first of all you would like to open a little PHP sign and then you like to put season S E S S I O N in the bottom underline and then press start and then you like to open it well open in close parentheses and then the comma thingy include and then to include the config.php you just put open quotation marks config config.php and close it and then close the PHP and then after you're all done with that include means that it's including the file that we just make so everything in there that, that we use is going to be in there so first of all let's make a HTML and then let's put head and then let's put title and title is the name of it this it's gonna appear in the navigation bar let's put welcome and let's close the title and after that let's put head well let's close the header or head what I call it and then let's open the PHP and then let's put echo and put dollar sign name well, and close quote, quote, and then close it by using the comma thingy. And then after that, you like put echo again, open quote, and then put that thingy. Let's just put break a line, br slash comma side. And then that's uh, for break a line to break a line, so it won't be a whole sentence. And put echo again, and put dollar sign well open quote dollar sign and put yours and then you have to close the comma and then put this again uh whoops can't type in the dark because I was up all night learning and then let's put that change that to that and after that you like to close the PHP by putting question mark and carrot sign but it's gonna be really clear on YouTube so you guys know what I'm talking about. Then you like to close the HTML. And then after that I y'all guys would like to put save. And voila. Put refresh. And that's how it should look like. We made hello my name is Kevin from this one right here. And then we change what's yours. And then we put it yours. And BR, if we hadn't put that. What's yours been over here? 
and the point of this is if you guys start your own pay to click site that I'm starting a script for it and it's gonna be gonna be pretty hard because I gotta make a lot of config in my SQL and yeah and if you guys have multiple pages and files and you guys don't want to write the whole thing just put this little thingy well, well the echo and the PHP sign and stuff and then it's gonna put the words that you want it to be from your config file and I'm just a beginner at PHP kind of but I'm really good with HTML so thank you for watching comment rate and subscribe and I'm currently accepting requests